Billions of people around the world are now using apps to send super secure messages every day. WhatsApp, iMessage, Android's messages and Signal all use a remarkable piece of technology called end-to-end -end encryption. Other popular apps like Telegram and Messenger also offer the feature. But by the end of 2023, Meta says Messenger will switch over to full end-to-end -end encryption as standard. So all text, media and calls will be end-to-end. -end. A privacy-focused messaging platform has to be encrypted. Meta also plans to roll it out for Instagram direct messaging too. And Twitter's also building end-to-end -end in its app. But as privacy experts celebrate the trend, governments are increasingly worried. So why are they so worried about it? Well, it's because of how clever this secure technology is. Let's say that I'm the server of an internet company and these people are trying to send messages. Sending readable information over the internet is a pretty bad idea. Anyone that intercepts the messages could read them. So these days, nearly all the information we share over the internet is encrypted, which means it's scrambled and therefore protected from prying eyes. A bit like putting a note in a locked box. The messages are protected when they leave us, processed by the app server, and then sent on to the recipient. But with most forms of encryption, the company can unscramble this data. They have the keys to read our messages. At any point, the company can open up our chat history and share them with others. For example, the police. Criminals are routinely caught and prosecuted because police are able to access messages in this way. Hackers or bad actors too are sometimes able to access our unsecured data. End-to-end -end encryption goes a step further. Messages are encrypted, but only the sender and the receiver have access to the keys. It's like sending a box that only you have the key to open. The messages are protected, even from the app company, which means that end-to-end -end encryption protects your texts, media and calls from everyone. Internet companies, hackers, even police. This means that people can truly exercise their right to freedom of expression, right to privacy, without fear of unwarranted surveillance, whether by the private sector or the public sector. At the moment we allow any kind of access to encrypted communications, there is no way to ensure that only the people that we want to be accessing these communications will do so, because it is effectively a security vulnerability that could be misused by a range of bad actors and malicious actors, whether state or non-state which is why it's important to not enable any kind of access at all. But as ever with technology, privacy and security collide. The so-called Five Eyes countries are all against the technology. Japan, India, Turkey, Bangladesh, Brazil and the European Union have all expressed concerns too, with some exploring laws to control the apps. In countries with strict internet rules like China, many end-to-end -end encryption products are already banned. What's concerning is that if platforms make the design choice to roll out end-to-end -end encryption, we risk losing the vast majority of that data that's used to find perpetrators and protect children. It's a debate that's raged now for years, with neither side wanting to budge. You concede that there is harm, correct? I can see that there are trade-offs and that there are challenges to law enforcement. And of course, my heart goes out to the victims of any- Well, I'm not so interested in your heart, actually. Many security forces and politicians around the world are calling on tech companies to introduce some sort of technical backdoor into end-to-end -end encrypted apps. A way for police to gain access to messages if they suspect criminal activity. Another solution is something called client-side scanning. Pictures and videos are scanned by an app whilst on the sender's device to check the content against the database of illegal material, for example, child abuse imagery. Client-side scanning was famously suggested by Apple on its devices to combat the spread and storage of child abuse material. But the idea was dropped after a huge backlash from privacy campaigners worried about the misuse of potentially invasive technology by criminals or even oppressive governments. In spite of the concerns, more and more companies are turning to the tech, saying it's crucial to protect customer data. 
And one thing that's true but never really talked about by the technology companies is that end-to-end -end encryption takes away a big chunk of the thorny and costly issue of content moderation. If they can't see what their users are sending to each other, they can't moderate it.